dq cross v by r square. All right, so this is the vector form in terms of charge. If if charge is mentioned. Okay, now we'll start with other derivation, the applications of Biot Servet's law. Uh, in this, we have, see, I'll just give you a brief. Magnetic field due to straight wire, you have a finite wire and you have an infinite wire. Now see, finite wire, this is not in the CBSC syllabus. So we are not going to do this. If for your board exam, this is not going to come. So we are going to, uh, we are not going to do this. Uh, all those students who are preparing for entrances, J need, they can have a look at this whenever they are preparing, but it's, it's not going to come in your board exams. Infinite wires formula, this is there in the syllabus. So we'll discuss this. There is one more, which is semi-infinite. What is semi-infinite? This also I'll discuss it. This is also there in the syllabus. And no derivation for this first topic, only the formula. And then for circular, you have a proper circular loop. Then you have semi-circular loop. And then you have random arc present, means a circular arc with any angle present. And all these have the derivations which you have to do. So second part has the derivation. First part only formula, second part proper derivation. So we'll then start with magnetic field due to infinitely long part. First write down from here, make a note point.
Uh, okay then, see, we'll start with a straight wire. To formula, you have to remember. Now, firstly, what is an infinitely long wire? Infinitely long wire means, look at the first case. Means the wire is extending to both the ends. To infinity. Like plus infinity may be jara side se. And from here, it is going to minus infinity. Fine, current I is moving. Plus infinity, minus infinity. And see, at a point P, which is separated by this vector A, for this position vector A, we have to calculate our magnetic field, right? So, formula of magnetic field here is B is equal to mu naught I by 2 pi A. This you have to remember, okay? Mu naught I by 2 pi A. This is the wire. Now, what is semi-infinite? If I remove this one part, semi-infinite basically means one end is extending only towards infinity. Other end is finite, fixed. And our point which we are calculating this lies near the point of the finite end, not towards the infinite end. Okay? So, B is equal to mu naught I by 4 pi A. This is the formula for semi-infinite. These two you have to remember. Now, one thing, graph also you have to remember. See, if I say magnetic field is B, and distance, that is the position vector, radius vector is A. So, how are they linked? Can you tell Taha and Sufyan? Directly proportional, inversely, how, how do you see? Yes, tell can you repeat that? Yes, Sufia. Can you repeat the question? Thank you, Dr. Pudding. Inversely, In see, uh, they are inverse proportional to each other. So, when you plot the graph here, graph is also inversely proportional. Okay? Uh, see, let us see the question based on this, this question. This will clarify our concept about all the wires, infinitely long and semi-infinitely, which you have to remember. So, three points we have. A is here, B is here, and C is here. First, let us solve just A point. So, forget that there is any C point or any B point present. We just have this wire present. And it is separated by 2 meters to this point A. Okay. So, see, in the first part, when we are calculating magnetic field at point A due to the wire, this is which one? This is acting as infinite, right? And what was the formula of infinite? Mu naught I by 2 pi a, this was the formula. Here it will be mu naught i by 2 pi. Let me the formula first. Now mu naught. Mu naught is equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. I current is 10. This is 2 pi. Distance a is 2 meters. So, this makes it 2, 2, 2 gets cancelled. This is equal to 10 to the power minus 6. And see, current, take your right hand towards the current. Curl the finger towards point A. Thumb is going inside. Inside means negative z-axis. So, it is minus k cap Tesla. Come to B point, second point, this B point. Now, class, always remember on the axis. Like this B point is exactly on the axis, right? This is exactly on this axis of the wire. Here it means when you obey the Biot's law, here you will see that the angle formed is 0 degree or 180 degree, right? If it is 0 degree or 180 degree, sine 0 degree or sine 180 degree, straight away will be zero. That's why 
magnetic field on the axis is always zero. So second one is straight away zero. Why? Because sine zero degree is zero. This is the reason. Come to the third one. So this is semi-infinite. So for semi-infinite, we have the formula mu naught i by 4 pi, right? So we'll use the formula for C point and as mu naught i by 4 minus 7. Current is 10. This is 4 pi. And this is 2. So this minus 7, same direction because point is situated C. This is how you have to write your answer.
Okay, see, this question is also based on the magnetic field at point. Okay. Wait, I'll just change my internet. I think my voice is breaking. Wait. Okay, now I think it would be better. So this is current I and both are infinite wires. So see, when we are writing the net magnetic field, we'll have this as B1 plus B2. So from the first wire, this is mu naught I by 2 pi A right mu naught i by 2 pi a here what is the direction take your right hand pointing towards the uh, a pointing upwards fingers should be up curl your right hand fingers towards point p and then your right hand would thumb would point inwards right so this is minus k cap this is how you have to write the answer if the values are given, then you will substitute the values, value of I, value of A. Most of the questions are like this one. Plus second wire, mu naught. Now the current is not I. Current is 2I. So we will write this as 2I divided by. This is 2 pi A. Same thing. But see, when you put your right hand now, when you curl your fingers towards pointy, thumb is pointing outwards, right? So this is K cap, this much Tesla, whatever is the value that you can put later on. Now tell me, are you clear with the directions why this is inwards and why this is outwards? Here this is inwards. Here this is outwards. Is it clear to both of you, Sufyan, Taha? Yes or no? Yes, is it clear? Yes, sir.
uh, okay class now see uh, see magnetic field at the center of a circular loop we have to find so uh, this is the length dl this is always tangential to the circular part okay class so now this is making an angle of 90 degree here and let's say some current i is flowing within this circle okay this current i is so you will consider a small wire dl so for this dl if we are calculating the magnetic field at the center of the circle o so we have b is equal to mu naught i dl sine 90 degree by 4 pi r square theta is 90 degree here right so when we have mu naught mu naught 4 pi i by r square all these are constant terms we will be just left with integral of dl now if you have a circle and if you are adding all see this means i have taken small dl here then again small dl small dl small dl if i add all of these i'll get the periphery of the circle right and what's the periphery of a circle what's the circum circumference of a circle taha circumference of a circle taha Yes, 2 pi r square. 2 pi r, not square. 2 pi r. Oh, yes, circumference. Circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, right? So here if I add all the small dl's with me, dl here, dl plus dl plus dl, 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 all the, I'll get the circle back. So this is basically integration of dl. So b is equal to, b is equal to mu naught, i by 4 pi r square integral of dl is 2 pi r pi pi cancel 2 2 cancel r with this square will be cancelled so we are left with mu naught i by 2 r right at the center suppose n number of turns are there n number of circles are there so we'll just multiply it with n n mu naught i by 2 R. Okay, regarding the rule, I'll tell you. See, just curl your fingers along the direction of current. Okay, just curl the fingers. Let me show you this. Wait. Just you have to curl the fingers along the direction, whichever it is. See, suppose I have, look, uh, first one, look at the first one. Fing uh, the clock, the current is moving clockwise, right? So, I'll curl my fingers clockwise. So, thumb is going inwards. Look at the second case. It is going anti-clockwise, right? So, if it is moving anti-clockwise, look at the hand. This is anti-clockwise. So, thumb is going out. So this is what you have to remember. All right. So, write it till here.
Okay, class C. Now, when we are talking about a semi-circular coil, there will be slight changes only in the derivation. You have to write the derivation again because it can come in the exam. But see, remembering it and solving the uh, the questions for this, it's easier. All right. So see here. What will be the difference? We do not have the radius of the circle as radius of the semicircle as two pi r, right? It is pi r. Half of the semi half of the circle. If circle is two pi r, then circumference of the semicircle will be just pi r. That is the difference which will come. So, 1, 4 will be there. So, it is B is equal to mu naught I by 4 R. This is the formula which you have to remember. And that is the slight difference which is there. Okay. So, write it till here again quickly. Now, I think you will be able to write it quickly. That one last case will be left in the circle apart. It will be. Write it.
uh, see now what we are going to do this is this is going to be a circular arc now circular arc means any angle can be drawn if you have any angle then how you are going to draw so see suppose this is just an arc present so an arc always subtends an angle at the center right this is the center let's say the angle is alpha so this entire length is l right and this is the radius which is r radius is r this length is l right so c class now the difference that will come in the derivation c we again have to find out integral of length now there's a relationship between length length is equal to angle into radius so that's what we have to substitute here total length is going to be angle into radius so one radius will cancel this radius so what what is the formula now it's a little different this is mu naught i by this alpha is also there i alpha by 4 pi Okay, so mu naught i alpha by 4 pi r. So if n number of turns are there, so b is equal to n mu naught i alpha by 4 pi r. Quickly write it, then we have to practice some questions. Please write this quick and let me know. All the derivations are same. This was the last one in circular. Write it.
see class how do we solve such questions we don't solve it in one go because these are three different segments so you also solve it in segments see this is segment number one this semicircle this is segment number two and this one this third one this is semi uh, this is segment number three so this is a wire with calculation at the center making angle zero degree so see our net magnetic field will also be b1 plus b2 plus b3 b1 this straight wire this is coming towards the center zero degree angle so it will be zero plus this is a semicircle with radius r and current i so mu naught i by 4 r direction clockwise so inwards that is minus k cap this is also on the axis so z so what is our answer straight away the net magnetic field is equal to mu naught i by 4 r minus k cap tesla Write it. This is how we are going to we are going to answer in segments. Write it quickly. Text me done.
see class these are proper circular loops right so this is first outer bigger circle and then you have inner circle so when we are calculating the net magnetic field it is b1 plus b2 right so what is b1 the first one with radius a this is equal to mu naught i divided by 2 a right and this is clockwise so it is inward so minus k cap plus outer one this is mu naught current is 2 i radius is 2 b and this is anti clockwise so outwards this much tesla write it quickly text me done See class, these are two circular loops only, right? This one, first one is kept in the xy plane. And the second one is kept in the yz plane. That is the difference. So when we are calculating the net magnetic field, it is b1 plus b2. So first one ring i1 with the radius a, right? So this is the circular loop. So what will be the formula? This will be mu naught i by i1 by 2a it is clockwise so minus k cap right plus what about b2 same mu naught i2 by 2b now see this current is an xy plane so when you put the fingers inwards curl your fingers inwards of right hand thumb is pointing towards the left that is the negative x-axis means minus i cap this is clear. See, I'll show you. Let me show you this. Wait. Uh, look here. Look in the camera class. This is like this. You have one circular loop. Other is this like this. Kept like this. And they are placed like this. All right. They are placed like this. This is what we have to calculate. So circle one is very easy. But this one. See, current is going inwards and coming out like this. Going inwards from here, coming out from below. So, if you curl it inwards, thumb is towards the left. That's it. Write this one too and text me done. 